So now we're going to set the machine for MMA welding. So I'm going to select the MMA option on the uh, front there. And it guides us as to where we should connect the um, electrode holder and the work return lead. So the electrode holder into the uh, positive socket, work return lead into the negative socket on, on the front of the machine. With those hooked up, we can move on to the next step. And now it's saying what generic uh, electrode type uh, we're using. So if the electrode number is a, a start 60, so uh, for example E6013, I would use this mode. If it was E70 um, series, then I would use the, the other option. So I'm intending to use E6013 electrode, so I'll select the 60XX option. And then in case of deciding what electrode diameter I'm using, I'm going to use a 3.2. And we're straight into the thickness screen. You'll notice that obviously it's recommended 4mm and above for the 3.2 electrode. And presets the parameters ready to weld again. So you can see it's very intuitive very easy to follow, some simple steps and it gets you straight to uh, the settings red, red, ready to weld. No, there's no guesswork involved about what amperage I should have or whatever, it, it gets you set, set up very quickly. So if you're not particularly familiar with all the welding processes, you often find people uh, have a lot of experience with one particular process, you know, they've done a lot of MIG welding but not TIG or vice versa. This machine's really uh, good for that application because uh, if you're not sure what parameters you should have just follow the steps on the machine and it'll get you set up ready to well very quickly.